Welcome in the 16th episode. Today we will continue what we left off from the previous episode, which is continue to implement our scoreboard. So let's open our, our project and let's straight away jump to our scripts folder and then config script. So in the last episode we have implemented all of these functions inside the script. There is just one more function which we need to add. Let's find the create fi file function and right above I will add one more public function. So public static bool and I will call this function is the best score and let's return underscore best score okay so that's it so we have all of the functions needed from uh, to save our our output our game results to the file so we need to now call all of these functions from our game so let's first of all call our create score file so let's go to our button behavior script right at the top i will add one more function which is the start function so void start and inside the start function, we're going to call config dot create score file. Okay, make sure you call this one. Let's save it. The next function we want to call is our play score on board function. So let's quickly go to our picture manager and let's find a function where we checking for the game end. So this is the function check game end. And inside this F statement, below the game timer stop timer, we will call config dot place score on board, and we will pass the timer, which is the game timer dot get current time. Okay, so we're gonna so once we stop our clock, our time, we're gonna just place this time on our scoreboard, so this is gonna be safe in the file. There is one more thing which we need to actually fix in our show end game information. We currently displaying the Jordan texture if you remember from the from the previous episode. So today we're going to replace this one and we're going to activate this is your best score best time based on the variable stored in the file. So if so inside the show end game information function let's add another if statement and then let's call config dot is best score so if it, if this is the best score we're gonna activate the new best score text dot set active and let's pass true and then your score text dot set active will be false okay and then otherwise we're gonna let's copy just these two line of code paste it here and let's activate the your score text to be true and your best to be false because this is not not the best time okay and then let's remove this line because it's not needed okay and that's it i think let's save everything now let's go back to unity okay so now let's go to our scripts folder and i will just right click in it show in the explorer so this should open the explorer window where we have our project and i will just move this folder on the side and then let's go one one directory above so we are in the in the root directory of our project and now let's uh, press play okay as you see our file has been created so this is the pay matching.ini file let's quickly open it you can open in the in the notepad or you can open in the notepad plus plus is up to you okay so as you see we have our our record of all of the all of the pairs types and three records for each of them and all of them have a zero time but we have a error actually in our as you see we have the error in our console so let's quickly go go to it and see what's happened we made one mistake in this uh, in this function so as you see in this line of code we always have the 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 first part of the string let me bring back the the my note notepad++ so as you see this is our our data 
So in this line of code, when you're updating the scores, we're just reading the, the single line, and this is split by letter D. So if you have some time, if you have time in uh, actually recorded in this game, your time will be recorded over here. Okay, so we have a first part of our string and then second part of our string, but we try to get the I part of our string. So if your index is going above two, there is an error. Okay, because it's try to get the, the I. So instead of passing I here, we need to pass one. And then rest of the rest of the implementation seems to be fine. So make sure you put one one here instead of I, okay? In our update score list inside the config.cs. Let's save everything again. Let's go back to Unity. We need to stop this this game. Okay, and then let's press play again. And as you see, there is no error anymore. And all of the files are stored. Uh, all of the data is stored. So now let's quickly press play. Let's try to complete some game. So I will just... I will try to complete it. Okay, as you see, I have a last pair. So now we should have... Let it, this is your best time. And uh, the data should be stored in the file. So let's complete it. Okay, your new best time. We have our time. And let's uh, go back to our file. You can reload it, or you can just close it if you don't open in the Notepad++, plus plus, in, if you open in the, sing, in the normal Notepad. You have to close the file and then open it again. And as you see, we have our record for the 10 pairs, because this is how many pairs we have selected. So our time is, is recorded here. So this is the timestamp, and this is the date, and this is the, the time which we played. Okay, so now we can go back, okay, and then if you complete your game in less than the, is in more than a minute, a minute, I mean one minute and a half, you should have, you shouldn't see that, uh, that uh, your best time text. So let's just double check this. Okay, so let's uh, just wait for a few more seconds. And let's get to maybe 1.35. Okay, we can complete it now. And as you see, I have normal text, your time. Okay, so everything seems to be working fine. So we have all of the implementation and we're saving our 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 time. So now if you go back to, to your data file, you see the second time is recorded. Okay, under the 10 pairs, because this is what we, what we played. So... Everything seems to be working fine. We have all data saved in our in our file. So in the next episode, we will implement a UI to display actually this data, the output in our in our leaderboard scene. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode.